Hello everybody, Mr. O here, and I'm going to teach you uh, super basic eyes for comic books and manga, especially when you're drawing real small. Uh, this problem came up in my classroom, and so we came up with a nice easy way uh, to do eyes, and i like to show you right now. Um, I'm going to use a Sharpie so you can see it better. As you can see, I have two different, ones in pencil and one I did in Sharpie. And you'll notice that I didn't draw a pupil. The reason I did that is the idea of this is when you draw real small, um, you may want to have color in your eye. If you put the pupil in, it's basically going to be black, the whole, the iris and everything. Uh, so what I'm going to show you, and we're going to draw a couple, you start off with a frown. See how I did a frown there? And yeah, when I get to the right there, because probably because I'm right-handed, it goes down a little bit more, but it works out perfectly for me. And then I do a smirk. Think of a smirk as you know something is going to happen to somebody after they say something or you're watching them and you kind of get a little smirk thinking they deserve it type thing. Yes, I do that a lot. And it works both ways. And let me just do a couple more. Frown. Smirk. And I probably should have done it opposite. And I'm going to just do that just so you see a regular set of eyes. Because this is how it should look. And you'll notice that I do this at the exact same time. And that's what makes my eyes a little even. Now, of course, I don't have my guideline. So these probably won't look perfectly even, okay? And then what you're gonna do is add a circle. Now there's a rule to the circle, the pupil, or the iris and the eyeball, is that no matter where you look, the circle always has to touch one part of the line, okay? As you can see how I'm, I'm putting everything out there. And this is just practice, right? As you can see, if you do that, you can look like you're looking at something or you look like you're cross-eyed and lazy eyes. And that's the fun part of it. Now, when you actually do a full eye, and I am gonna show you eyelashes. I got the frown. I got the smirk. And I'm going to look down, so I'm going to get this circle. And I'm going to just add some eye lines, look, making it look more intense. Now, eyebrow, don't forget length of the eye and, and leave a little bit of a space. Okay, that could be a surprise eye. And I'm going to do that again. Frown, smirk. I'm gonna add the eye. And remember, there's two ways of doing the circle there, so don't worry. And I'm gonna start adding some eyelashes, but I'm gonna thicken the back end of the line and wick it out. Now, I'm not gonna draw every eyelash. And what do you guys think? Um, so when you're doing really quick eyes on something small like this, just think of that frown, smirk, I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna do that in pen here so you can see it. So I'm gonna do my frown. As I said, I do it at the same time. The smirk, which goes away from the nose. And then I'm gonna do the eye, iris and pupil. And whether you draw on the pupil or not, but as you can see, what if I wanna show the blue eyes or brown eyes? I can get those colored in. And, and don't forget, you can just do just a little bit to add eyelashes. They could be thick and they could be small. And uh, so I hope that helps you guys. Guys, I want you to have a beautiful day. And most importantly, you are beautiful. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.